all began exploring the ruins. to the heat of the day so it's time to take lunch. So I'm in the centre of the village because Bagan is the area, people get confused but it's actually very easy. There's Old Bagan which is where all the most of the temples are. Now people used to live there but they moved them out uh, to this village which is called Nguyen Yu. Oh, I must find that and put it in the thing below and then they made new Bagan. So nobody actually lives in old Bagan. That's just a place where all the temples, the concentration of the temples are. I say all the temples because they're actually spread out over a massive area. Um, I believe over 25 square kilometers of temples dotted everywhere, as you'll see from our trip around here. And uh, then there's this village here, which is a great place to stay at, called Nwingu. And uh, this is the place where I am now. It's uh, the cheaper place to say the locals stay here. And it's I'm on the main street at the moment where all the restaurants and cafes and bars are. So it's a good place to uh, get lunch and evening meal, which I'm doing now. New Bagan has got a lot more of the posher hotels, a bit more expensive. Um, and both this village and New Bagan are about five kilometers away from Old Bagan, where all the temples are. So very easy to get to. You can rent a bike like I did and pot around an electric bike. You can get a horse and cart, you can rent a bicycle and you can also get organised tours if you like with or without uh, a tour guide. So it's quite easy to get around. Not that cheap. Uh, Myanmar in general is not cheap by Asian standards. Um, food, transport and things are a little bit more than what you'll find in the other places. Tourism is still growing. Um, oops. Tourism is still growing and developing, but it's, it's getting there. It's hit a bit of a bump from the political side, which has put a few people coming off. But there's nothing to worry about coming to Myanmar. It's a very safe country. The people are wonderful and they really appreciate you coming to see their country. And they'll really look after you as best as they can. And when it comes to eating, oh, there is plenty, plenty places to eat from local style, local stores, nice restaurants, Indian, pizza. Oh, you name it, there is plenty to choose from, so you'll be sport from choice of all different price brackets. You can eat the street food quite nice and safely, and you can go to a restaurant, or you can have a full sit-down spread at some of the posh places. You can find everything to suit your taste and your budget. Just dig in and enjoy. Uh, Nan. Nan is coming. Nan is coming. Oh, the rice is Inguri. Inguri. Yes. That's that menu. Set menu, rice, and soup. Yeah? Thank you. Anybody could get it. See this? Well, what was that? Well, I got to go to Sanya. Yeah? Yeah, we're going to say that. Mango? Ginger? That's your goat, yeah? Not good. This is tomato. Dairy fever. This is tomato and chili. 
Uh, that's is uh, tamarind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bon appetit. Thank you. The nut is here. Thank you. Uh, can I take the plate? Yes. Can I light it? <laughs> it's okay? Yep, that's yeah. great. Thank you very much. So there we have it. Chicken, rice, my nan bread, and nothing to see all these pots. I'll take you on a tour to see all, all the pots of all the food. But first, most important thing, okay nan, not the softest I've had, but I have eaten nan in India. Let's dress this sauce. Mm. Nice sauce and spicy spice, mm, not spicy. I think my travels in India trained me well. And don't forget, probably the two most beautiful times of day in Bagan. Sunrise and sunset. It's worth getting up for the sunrise and watching the sunrise. It's a beautiful time of day. Then there's the hour after sunrise. The light is beautiful. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Also, sunset. There is a few popular places where the crowds go to for sunset, but it's very easy to just wander off, find your own spot. I managed to find two sunsets where I was... One sunset there was a few people, like five. Another sunset I was the only person there, and I could look over some of the popular sunset spots, and there were crowds of people. So, my recommendation here, do one night in a popular spot to get an idea of the view, but when you've got a lay of the land, Go and find your own special spot and enjoy the beauty of sunset. But do remember, if you're out there for sunset, you need to get back. So make sure you've got lights on your bike, bicycle, or if you're walking or cycling, make sure you've got a light. But go and enjoy. It's a beautiful